Hey piggy people. So I just finished cleaning out all the piggies. So let's see what everybody's up to. So over here we have little Reese Bear. We have Tubbies or Pecan there on the couch. And we have the boss man, Mr. Huck. Hello, how are you? Hey handsome. So they're all sharing a little hay pile. I put a little pile there because Pecan just was chilling on the couch. So I always like to give her some hay super close. Let's see where everybody else is. There we have little Ray. And I don't know if you can really see her. But Velvet's right in there. Kind of face first in there. What are you doing, Hucky? Look at that little bum. It's such a cute bum. And over here is Mr. Busby. So I changed his cage up a little bit. Uh, he goes to get his neuter next week. So I want to give him a week to adjust to having a bit more open cage with a bit less to do. Uh, his other cage had a lot more beds and tunnels and hay piles. Which is great, but once his bum needs to heal, I don't want him dragging his butt through everything and up off of beds because he's a little bit of a gymnast uh, so he usually had a cube in the corner and he jumps on top of it he gets stuck behind it like he's a little wild beast man so I wanted to keep things as simple as possible and easy to clean so it's a little more open and a little bit more space it kind of feels like and all he has for a bed is a foam tunnel there in the back so that he doesn't have anything that he's jumping into, dragging his bum across, that kind of thing. And his hay's in the center. So normally I had a wood log in the center and then hay on either side. But then that meant he was like steaming, steamrolling right through two piles. And I didn't want him to poke his eye either because he was doing it pretty crazy. So he reminds me a lot of Raisin for trying to pick up where he throws caution to the wind and is very crazy to try and pick up but he's way better than Raisin that once you do have him he calms and settles in your arms and I can easily like check him all over do health checks clip his nails that kind of thing so the easiest way to pick him up is having that foam tunnel so once he goes in there I just quickly put a hand on either side to kind of block him in and then pick up the whole foam tunnel so he's doing very well, um, he can't wait to have some friends, so we're going to see how it goes for matching him up with the sisters. He is quite shy if I'm coming up to the front of the cage here with the camera, he's not too sure about it. Uh, for spot cleaning we're getting way better. What I do is when I start spot cleaning I'll just freeze in the cage, like keep my hands down on the base of the cage and allow him to come up and sniff my hands and my arms and the dustpan and all that so that he gets used to it not being scary and then I'll just slowly sweep up and then I'll freeze again and let him check stuff out and it seems to make him feel a lot calmer so it just kind of sucks that with the camera he does not want to come up front hi Buzz Mr. Buzz Buzz yeah we're pretty shy but he's great. I can catch him on like the little spy camera that I have up. Catch him all the time up at the front of the cage laying down out in the open. So he's doing well. Just very hard to catch a good video. Okay, so since I'm standing back, he's coming up a bit closer. And he's just the prettiest colors. He's There's white. There's like beigey golden colors. Uh, kind of like almost what I think people call a lilac color on his little tail fin there very multicolored it's got lots of colors going on all really pretty gorgeous blonde neutral colors and now here's the sisters Annabelle's doing great uh, she's healing up amazing I'm very lucky that she's such a tidy pig and she's not a pig that's like laying down in the hay or in the poops or anything like that like other piggies that we know and there's little Annie Banani she's doing great as well 
these girls have a heat pad a really large one I bought one off of Amazon that's for dogs so it's underneath their fleece and they have just been pancaked on top of the fleece just stretched right out on the heat pad which is really nice to see so I'm so happy that Annabelle's doing well I'm gonna buy some test kits to test their water so our water is reverse osmosis that's supposed to take out a lot of the minerals like almost so much that they say that you know you'd need to get your minerals elsewhere so it's supposed to be like hardly anything in the water but I'm gonna check to make sure uh, I used to use a Brita water filter, but since we moved here and had the reverse osmosis, I stopped using a Brita. But I'm going to do a test of testing just with the reverse osmosis and then testing the water going through the Brita, Brita from the reverse osmosis and see what we figure out. Because that's about the only thing I can think of that could be contributing. Because these girls... Uh, between the two of them drink 16 ounces of water every 12 hours so I just found it so hard to believe that Annabelle would have anything left in her bladder to make a stone just because so much water's passing through them I just thought they'd be flush in their bladders like crazy but there's so many factors to stones it can be um, genetics activity level their age there's a whole pile of things but anyway we're gonna test the water just for the sake of testing it to see what's up hello little bubby how are you you already had your snack so he likes to get the uh, Sherwood digestive support tablet he has a sensitive tummy sometimes so I started giving him that after he was a bit stressed out when he moved over here and he just gets one every night now but he's already had it he'll ask and ask and ask to see if you'll give him another but just one. That's all you need. And then there's Miss Autumn. The cutest little fluffy girl. So she's very much like Velvet and Reese for laying down for everything. Laying down to eat, to drink. Just a very relaxed, chill little piggy. She's so cute. So, so far so good. Um, little Buzz will have one week and then he'll go get his neuter. And then he'll heal for a couple weeks, and then we'll start figuring out getting him some friends. And obviously, the most simple solution is him going with the sisters. And then I would open up that entire space so that I think we'll actually have a 3x7. And I do the introductions on the floor, not in the cage, because the sisters have a history of being extraterritorial. Where for the herd, I always did the intros in a clean cage, and they always did great with that, but they're much more chill and relaxed, where the sisters, we're going to have to try it on the floor. And if I had a prediction, now it's going to depend how Busby takes it, but I could see Annie laying it on pretty thick that she's the boss, and it's going to depend on him for whether he's going to listen or settle down without her getting too angry. I They already are, those two are already the type of pigs that can be quite loud. So if you guys remember the video I made when I introduced, reintroduced them, and we had everything under the sun, like chattering, snorting, grunting, uh, some lunging, and then all of a sudden they were fine. So I do anticipate a pretty colorful introduction, but it's just going to be can Busby pass the test and can he settle down to not freak those ladies out. I, I think I have my work cut out for me for whether I'm going to be able to let it get to the point where they can settle down and work it out. But you never know until you try what could happen but just knowing what I know about those girls it could be pretty intense at first and it'll just depend if we can get through that but I don't know Busby's personality at all for intro so he could surprise me for how he behaves he does come off as a very hyper you know hormonal male because he is at the age where the hormones are really going so I don't know if he's going to be like way over the top 
or what? We're going to find out. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Do you guys see a little ray in there? Just squashed. I love seeing piggies relaxed. So cute. Look at that little bum. Well, not a little bum, that big bum. <laughs> There's my prettiest girl. Hi, little tubs, I love you. How are you doing? You're a little bit quiet tonight, but we're eating and we're drinking. Love you. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!